And hello everybody, Bruce here from rootsoflife.org and in this video I'm going to be giving you a before and after and a total view of my recently completed 21 day water fast. Now this is going to be diving into the experience itself, giving you an update on my results, you know how it was both the highs and the, definitely the lows and kind of what you can expect and a bit of hopeful uh, motivation for you wherever you are on your fasting journey. Now, I've also completed a much longer, much more in-depth discussion on fasting and how to get into fasting, you know, covering everything from the health benefits to the modalities to the methods and so on, which I'm going to link right up here and also in the description below. All right, now this water fast that I've completed was now my longest water-only fast uh, it was done roughly mid-November to early December of 2020, and it was a 21-day water fast. Now, my before and after, I'm going to put a photo here for you. You can see the difference. I ended up losing 14 kilograms, uh, which is, you know, what is that off the top of my head? In pounds, it's like 25 pounds or something like that. And, you know, that's obviously that's awesome. Um, <clears throat> I was able to really dive into helping relieve and heal some IBS symptoms that I've had for a long time that just wouldn't kind of go away now that thankfully they've gone. So that's fantastic as well. And, but the time itself through that 21 days, like I said, is full of these ups and downs, right? So, you know, you always want to keep an idea or like an eye on the results. I think that for me, you know, every day, like seeing the scale go down on my weight, that's super motivating, of course. For me personally, that was not my, my motivation for fasting. The motivation here for me for this 21 days was more about, you know, meditation and cultivating mindfulness and being in a space where I could really uh, challenge the addictions to like food and routine and these types of things that we have. Uh, but of course, losing, you know, 25 pounds of body fat and stuff, that's, that's obviously super beneficial. Um, you know, now speaking to that, you know, what I did to start this fast and like how I got into it and the highs and the lows and the benefits, let's look at that individually and hopefully that's going to help you on your own uh, journey jumping into a fast should you choose to do a fast like uh, of this duration. Now, first and foremost, when I jumped into it, I just started with uh, about a day and a half prior, I was just eating fruit. Okay, so by just eating raw fruit gives my body and my, and more importantly, my digestive system time to just kind of relax. Now, if you're new to fasting, however, I would really suggest that you dive into a fast, especially a longer duration fast, with a ketogenic diet to start. And that, I've, again, I've discussed that in full in the longer video where I discuss all of the aspects of fasting that was linked previously here. Now, when I started to move into just water, it was again about 36 or 48 hours or so of just fruit, uh, and then I just started with water only. Um, whenever some hunger pains would come up, I would have some black coffee. Now, purists on water fast will say that that's not really fasting. That's as long as it doesn't have any calories in it and it doesn't kick you out of ketosis and autophagy then your body's technically still in a fasted state. So uh, it's not damaging your fast in any way. And indeed, there's a huge amount of data out there to suggest that coffee and the caffeine and the antioxidants and stuff in coffee actually help to increase autophagy and increase the ability for your body to stay in that fasted state. So, you know, if, if hunger is coming up for you on a fast, then maybe dive in uh, with a couple of espressos every day or whatever. Uh, that for me was, was a big help on this fast. Now, wow, some highs and lows. I mean, this, I've fasted, you know, on and off for 20 years. Uh, this is the longest water only fast that I've been doing, but I've had a lot of, I've had a much longer duration uh, juice fast, uh, many, many, many shorter duration fasts. And this <clears throat> fast in particular had the biggest highs and the biggest lows I think that I've experienced. In particular, the lows. Um, wow, yeah, there were there were times on this fast where I was just like enraged, uh, angry at nothing, just so much anger and 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 stuff coming out. And 
it's not, I'm not an angry person. I've got a very neutral temperament. I'm, I'm rarely ever upset in these types of things. And that's the amazing power of a long duration fast that I was able to dig deep into myself and find a space that I didn't even know existed and release things that were buried that I didn't even know existed. And not only did I not know that they existed, but I couldn't even put a context onto why they were there. Uh, probably two or three times I was just crying out of like frustration, uh, anger, hopelessness, you know, all these types, like the depths of, of the human experience were really coming out. And, you know, I, I want to challenge all of you, the viewers, to really greet those moments and not be afraid of them. Don't be shy away from them or, you know, be embarrassed by them or anything like that. Because those are things that we're trying to get out of our body, right? Those are things that we're holding on to for some reason, what, whatever it may be, childhood or past lives or, you know, work experience, whatever it might be. We want that garbage out of the body. So the only way we can get down to it is to really dive into it, right? And so that was really profound. And I've never experienced uh, a, a response like that on a fast. And yeah, no, it's super easy for me to say that it's profound now and ask me at that moment when I'm right in it, like, hey, hey Bruce, how profound is this? Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's not what I'm thinking, right? I mean, it's a difficult moments. Um, and you know, coincidentally enough, the highs on the fast were not as high as I've had in the past as well. So quite often people have like fasting highs where they feel like they have a boundless amount of energy or, you know, they just want to, they can do a million things in one day or something like that. Um, I've definitely experienced that. And I could say on this fast, it was not nearly that high. So my good days, which it's not like it was good and a bad. I mean, the majority of the time I was feeling neutral to happy. Um, and when I was like happy, I would say those are the highs and that would be where I feel like, you know, nothing physically feel kind of like neutral in the body, um, feel like I've got a clear headspace and, you know, a lot of focus or drive to accomplish things like get work done or whatever it might be. Um, but it never went into like this overdrive state that I've experienced before. And if you have experience with fasting, many of you can probably relate to what I'm saying here. The lows, but wow, there were some big, big lows. Um, and yeah, and it, and it taught me a lot about myself. It taught me a lot about that space. Again, like I was saying, I was going into this with more about a focus on meditation and mindfulness and, and just being with that state of the body. I also wanted to heal. I wanted to get rid of some, you know, like IBS stuff like I was talking about. And that was kind of the big final punch, I think, to get rid of that IBS. But those lows... Perhaps actually that's what it speaks to now as I'm, as I'm recording this video. All of that junk that was coming out, that emotional baggage that I couldn't even contextualize, there's no doubt that that stuff could be at least aiding in or perhaps even causing the physical sensations that I was trying to release. So, you know, that was my experience in, in total on it. Yeah, super happy, you know, losing the, the 14 kgs. Um, super happy with the health results and stuff. And you can see in that, that before and after photo that I put in here earlier, uh, the difference in my skin, my complexion, uh, the difference in water retention and bloatedness and all that type of stuff. Um, just a profound space to be in. And, and I really did cherish it, even though it was really difficult. So, you know, if there's one bit of motivation that I can give anybody who's listening to this that is keen on, on starting a 21-day fast, or perhaps even longer, maybe a bit shorter, is dive into it, be with it, and try not to give up. You know, in the longer video that I that I linked uh, previously, I talk about the idea of arbitrary dates and so on. And in that, I'm saying, like, you, you know, the date of the fast, the 21 days or whatever, is arbitrary. It's the ability to train the mind to not be a victim of your thoughts, but actually to be the, the master of the mind. And in that Base, you know, that was profoundly impactful for my meditation practice and so on. And, you know, from a healing perspective, it was so, like, like I've said this a couple of times to my friends and my family around me after the fast, it feels like something was planted inside of me that I can't yet understand. Like there was a new space of wellness. And I guess be the best way to say it is a new space. There was something in me that felt more balanced. It was like I had 
pulled something out fully by the roots and now that space was able to finally heal. Now I have no idea what that is. I'm never going to pretend to act like I know unless I'm given some guidance as to what that may have been. But regardless, that feels like a space that I want to stay in. It's really, really quite a special uh, sensation. And, you know, where am I going forward with this? Well, what I'm doing now, at least in, in my life at this stage, is a five-day fast, five to seven days anyways, uh, every month. So that gives me a space to get into peak autophagy, uh, peak growth hormone creation, stay in ketosis for, you know, a good duration of time each month where I can clean out the fat, you know, in the liver and the blood, the triglycerides, all of that stuff can get burnt out. Autophagy can take care of all the bad cells and all these types of things. Just give the body a space to heal and let go. And, you know, that's the, that's really the key uh, to fasting and fasting as a regular uh, incorporation into our lifestyles for good health and wellness. Now, you know, that's my experience on this 21 day fast. And I hope that you found this to be beneficial uh, and motivational. You know, if there's anything that I can say, like keep at it, you know, don't let society talk you out of it. Don't let your family and friends talk you out of it. People are going to tell you you're crazy. They're going to tell you you're going to die, that you can't go without food, that, you know, you're going to cause irreversible harm to your body. And you'll get every, and then by the way, you're also going to get the addictions, the ability or the desire to want to eat all the time. You're going to see that that's all that people do all the time. Stay strong, be with it, try to stay with it, try to master your own mind and know that really what you're doing is something so fundamentally healing and beneficial to both your mind and your body. So once again, I hope that this has been uh, motivational for you. I hope that you can, you know, really dive into your own fasting regime. And I really do appreciate, you know, uh, all of you for watching this. And if you found this, move, uh, this, this video here to be beneficial, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Really appreciate it. And if you want to walk with me on your own journey of healing, check out my Patreon page, uh, which is linked in the description below, in which you can join me for live meditations, live energy healing sessions weekly, and you can also engage with me one-on-one -on, -one on your own journey through wellness. So I'm very happy to coach any of you with your own fasting journey or perhaps your own meditation or yoga practice as you like. That's in the link below. I really do appreciate all the support, everybody, and see you via Patreon or come over to rootsoflife.org and check me out there. Enjoy your journey, be well, and take care.